We're in Madrid for the Fuse 2023 event. I'm joined today by Lloyd Umpaleli, who's the GM of Transport and OSS Tools in the Group Technology team at MTN. Lloyd, thanks very much for joining us again. Great to see you. Now here at Fuse, uh, there's been a lot of focus on uh, Open RAN, but uh, MTN and plenty of other operators as well have been working on the deployment of disaggregated network transport technologies. What's the status of MTN's open transport strategy? I mean, where are you with trials and, and even deployments? Last year, what we did is mainly we shared our plans in terms of um, the intent we have as MTN to roll out, you know, or test, um, you know, the open and disaggregated transport, um, you know, technologies. And I'm happy to share that we've made some huge strides as far as that is, um, you know, concerned. Initially, back in 2019, uh, we did you know, the lab trials in South Africa for what is termed uh, the DCSG, the Disaggregated Cell Site um, Gateways, which is in uh, short um, a cell site router. Um, so that went well and we were encouraged by the results and um, we took it to the field where we rolled out um, you know, a fairly large scale commercial um, you know, POCs in 2021 in our markets uh, in Uganda and Cameroon. I mean, you'd ask why, you know, the two, but we were testing two different, um, you know, use cases where we're a little bit uh, guarded on the Uganda side where we did an overlay, just so not to uh, disturb, you know, the network too much, but while gathering, you know, insights in terms of the reliability um, of the product and then we then moved on to uh, Cameroon where we integrated directly um, with the existing network which should give confidence um, to those that are thinking of um, you know doing this you know solutions so that was really um, you know a big achievement you know um, to date from a DCSG perspective one other thing you know uh, we mentioned was around um, the desire to include uh, open and disaggregation as a uh, category um, in you know our transport portfolio so i'm happy to also um, report that uh, we've managed to conclude you know the rfp okay and um, we're just finalizing you know the commercials with the uh, the shortlisted vendors and i mean we should be at liberty to share once that process um, is fully, um, you know, concluded. So um, very, very uh, proud of, um, you know, that achievement. And um, apart from, you know, the IP um, end of things, where we have uh, done a lot of, um, you know, stuff where we've contributed a lot. Um, we also in what is called the disaggregated uh, optical systems. Um, this is the disaggregation of you know the optical transponder to uh, to the line systems to the optical line systems that we have today so also very proud um, that uh, we managed to conclude uh, the trial just in time you know for the fuse announcement here okay. um, and we've got the silver badging you know uh, for it um, this in short means that um, the solution is ready um, you know for deployment so we are very very happy about that Still a bit of a journey, um, you know, to get to the gold, um, you know, badging, which is uh, which covers the, um, you know, the commercial end, and then you know we can now fully deploy the solution commercially um, in the network. And uh, you know what's making us so so proud is that this is first, um, you know, trial. Uh, done in Africa and I mean we continue to lead the way to be the trailblazer um, you know as MTN which is really in line with our strategic intent to lead digital solutions for Africa's progress yeah so in a nutshell um, you know that is what you know we've done in the space yeah okay so significant process uh, progress there what do you expect to be the actual benefits of these deployments? So the, 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 the cell site uh, uh, virtualized router, um, disaggregated router, what will that bring to MTN? Is it greater operational efficiency? Um, you know, are there any energy efficiency gains from, from these kind of deployments? 
Yeah, I would say all of the above. I think, you know, the important thing for us in technology is to be in alignment with the business strategy, uh, meaning that um, from a technology perspective, we need to enable, um, you know, the business uh, strategy ambitions. So um, one of the, you know, the key things is um, optimize, um, you know, the capex, reduce, you know, um, yeah. you know, the opex. Very, very critical considering, you know, the current macroeconomic, you know, headwinds um, that we're experiencing across, you know, our markets. So we are hoping firstly, um, you know, to get a commercial value, you know, out of it. But also from a technical or technology, you know, perspective, um, there's lots of complexity, um, you know, in the environment. We've got a multi-vendor um, environment, you know, that is growing. It's becoming increasingly um, difficult, um, you know, to maintain uh, the network the same way that we did, you know, eventually. So uh, previously, so. Um, what we're doing in the open and disaggregated you know environment is creating those open standardized you know interfaces that allows us to see this multi-vendor environment as a single um you know platform okay um really you know reducing um that complexity while um you know we bring in you know um the cost you know efficiencies that goes with it because uh, it doesn't matter how far we go in addressing, you know, the technical, you know, um, challenges that we have. If they're going to be um, more costly than what we have today, that won't be attractive, you know, um, you know, to the business. So, you know, that are, those are the reasons. I mean, aligning with, um, you know, the business strategy, but also addressing, um, you know, the complexity that um, exists in the network, reducing, you know, uh, points of failure, making it, uh, um, you know, easier to, you know, do operations, improve operational efficiency, but also, you know, maintaining, you know, um, the competitive edge, you know, bringing the elements of automation and so forth. Uh, and finally, um, is there any advice that you would give to other operators that are you know, maybe considering, you know, looking at o open transport uh, options for their networks. Uh, uh, any encouraging words you would give to them at all? Yes, for sure, Ray. Thank you for that. Look, I think um, the apprehension around whether or not uh, the technology um, works, they shouldn't, you know, worry about that anymore. I think we've managed to comprehensively allay, um, you know, that fear with uh, the work that we've put in with our trials and, um, you know, in the lab and also, you know, in the field testing multiple, you know, scenario. So we can get that out of the way. Uh, in the opening, um, you know, uh, Christian, the executive director of uh, TIP, did uh, show, paint a picture of, you know, that progress. I mean, we're sitting 27,000 plus deployment, um, you know, across the footprint of the DCSG. So that is testament that, I mean, this is a career grade, reliable. This is a re reality. Yeah, this is already. reality, yeah. right? So that part, I think, you know, is covered. And now um, the consideration should be more on the internal, um, you know, processes around how do we then, you know, um, bring this in because it's different from, you know, the existing integrated solutions so the procurement uh, policies the you know the legal policies from a contractual perspective if you consider that today you have um, a single point of contact with you know a single vendor being the software and hardware provider and doing you know the integration and services of you know the solution but moving into disaggregation um, you know now you have three players that you have to get them to you know to get along and give you what you want so we have managed to um, you know address that as part of you know the um, proof of concepts that we ran okay. um, you know in the field uh, different options I mean mainly we prefer you know the SI taking the lead and then you know putting together the solution I think um, you know doing procurement you know ourselves because I mean we've got quite a 
an extensive ecosystem that we can leverage to help bring down uh, or reduce, you know, um, you know, the commercial. So I think those are the elements that can be considered uh, by those operators that, um, you know, have interest, you know, in um, joining, you know, the community. I think what will give us um, even more, um, you know, momentum, you know, and speed will be getting a whole lot of them, you know, uh, becoming part of uh, this uh, TIP community, yeah. Lloyd, thanks very much for joining us again. Great to talk to you and, uh, and thanks for taking time out of your very busy schedule.